Hi everyone. I'm really missing our story time and missing seeing your faces a lot. So I thought today I would read you one of my favourites. It's really funny. This story is called Nana's Knickers. It's my granddaughter's favourite as well. She loves this one. It's written by Nico Russell and illustrated, that's the person that draws the pictures, by Charlie Mayer. This tale may be a very important, as the same thing could happen to you. And if this calamity now should occur, then at least you will know what to do. It was seven o'clock in the morning and we all lay in bed with our dreams, when suddenly silence was shattered and replaced by some startling screams. We jumped from our beds, slid into our slippers and raced to the root of the noise, knocking down lamps and leafy green plants and tripping on trainers and toys. We screeched to a stop outside Nana's room as the commotion continued inside. We burst through the door as she threw up her arms. <gasps> I can't find my knickers, she cried. Poor Nana. I've looked in my cupboard, I've looked in my drawers, I've searched through my bag and my bed, I've looked in my coat, I've looked in my pocket and I've checked that they're not on my head. Oh, what has become of my knickers, she moaned. Have they been thieved in the night? Oh, where are my big frilly knickers, she wailed. Without them, I just don't feel right. Nana, relax, we will find them, I said. Surely they can't have gone far. Just think back to when you last had them, and then we should find where they are. Nana sat down on the edge of the bed, took a deep breath and then started. We all gathered round and tried to work out when Nana and her knickers had parted. Well, I definitely had them at breakfast as I'd only just put the things on. And I certainly had them at tea time when the vicar popped in for a scone. There's no doubt I had them at dinner as I was dancing with Mr McGirt. We started to tango, then did the fandango and everyone saw up my skirt. So what did you do after dinner? said I. Now close your eyes tightly and think. I got home at ten, then took a few biscuits and went up to bed with a drink. The light didn't work so I lit my red candle then took out a small piece of cheese. I then set the mousetrap and opened the window to let in the cool autumn breeze. Can you find the hole where the little mouse is going to crawl into? I think I can find it. <gasps> there it is. I put on my nighty, then leapt into bed with my clothes left high in a heap. I sat in the bed with my biscuits and book and eventually fell fast asleep. <gasps> can you find the mouse? Oh, there he is. <laughs> When I woke up this morning at 6.45, to my horror, my knickers weren't there. They've just disappeared, they've gone without trace, and now my big bottom is bare. All stood in silence and rattled our brains, thinking where those old knickers could be. Maybe eaten by mice. Or blown through the window, now waving around in the tree.
like a biscuit, my brother exclaimed. My tummy's beginning to rumble. Well, don't eat in bed, dear, Nana advised. One bite and the whole thing will crumble. Nothing is worse than sleeping in crumbs. You'll be writhing around like a shark. When I felt them last night, I just had to get out and hoover them up in the dark. Nana, I said, you hoovered your bed without being able to see. Well, if this is true, then it gives me a clue as to where those darn knickers could be. I have a feeling that during your cleaning, your knickers got sucked up as well. I bet you a pound that is where they'll be found. But there's only one way we can tell. I opened the hoover and took out the bag as a great cloud of dust filled the air. <gasps> I rolled up my sleeve, then plunged in my hand and searched for the lost underwear. Where's the mouse? Amongst all the fluff and the crumbs and the dirt, I felt something silky and soft. I whipped out my hand and then everyone cheered as I held Nana's knickers aloft. Yippee, Nana, my beautiful knickers. What a wonderful sight to behold. My favourite pair, I love them to bits despite being 30 years old. I shall wash them and dry them immediately. I shall wear them all day and all night. And when the time comes that I do take them off, I shall not let them out of my sight. How clever you are to have found them. I'm so happy I can't even speak. Then she puckered her lip, pinched my face and planted a kiss on my cheek. And that is the story of Nana and the morning her nicks went astray. But all ended well and we talked of the tale and nothing but knickers all day. So remember, when items go missing, like books or your favourite clothes, simply go back to where you last had them and they should be right under your nose. The end. Four Leaf Clover, my story is over. See you soon.